everybody, Delisa Novak here, owner of 212 Degrees Fitness in Littleton, Colorado. And today I wanted to chat a little bit about everybody's favorite exercise, the burpee. And um, you guys, I personally think the burpee is a wonderful exercise. Um, I think it can be a super beneficial exercise, great full body. Um, but just like any other exercise, if you're not doing it correctly, then you don't reap all the benefits um, from the exercise. So we definitely wanna make sure that you're doing the exercise correctly and also to you know offer some different kind of alternatives and modifications to the exercise um, if need be because I'm always one, it's quality. Form and um, technique are key when doing, um, when doing your exercises. So um, for those of you who don't know what a burpee is, I'm gonna demonstrate really quick the full burpee with the push-up. So I'm gonna get here um, so you, in place with my camera so you can see me. So I wanna make sure I'm gonna squat down. I'm gonna keep my um, spine nice and neutral. My chest is up. I'm gonna plant my hands onto the floor, kick it back. I'm gonna perform my push-up. I'm gonna pull it back in and I'm gonna jump it up. So that's a full burpee. Now, not everybody is ready for that version of the burpee yet. All right, so what we wanna do is break it down, maybe offer some modifications, some different tips, and help build you up to that, um, to that full burpee. So, some things we hear. Lower back causes some lower back pain, maybe some knee pain. So, we have some different tips and alternatives for that. So first I might say, okay, maybe your, flex, your hip flexors are quite flexible enough to get down. Um, from the position I had my hips in for that um, burpee I just demonstrated. So maybe I want to widen my stance a little bit. You know, whatever might feel better for you. I might widen my stance a little bit. That way, I can still keep that back nice and flat. Get down to the floor. Now, even kicking back from this position in my burpee might help me support my plank a little bit better, my back and my plank, because I don't want my lower back to go into this kind of arching position because that's when a lot of times we'll hear people complaining about it not feeling great on their lower back. So we want to make sure we really brace those abs, we engage those glutes when we're kicking back into that high plank position. Same when performing the push-up. You don't want that lower back arching when you're in your push-up. So um, if that kicking back is enough for now, just keep the push-up out of it that's something we can work up towards. So another thing too that might help with the knees, the lower back, is instead of kicking both legs back at the same time, I'm just gonna step back. So I'm gonna go down into my squat position, placing my hands on, my, on the floor, and I'm just gonna step back, coming into that high plank again. Nice, strong high plank. My abs are braced, my glutes are engaged. Again, I can go into my push-up, as long as my lower back isn't arching, and I'm gonna step it back in, keeping my spine neutral, coming up. Maybe I want to eliminate the jump at the end and just go into a full body extension instead. So those are some different alternatives um, in you know, going ahead and placing my hands on the floor. So now, maybe you're not ready for that yet, so another great alternative, let me grab my bench here, my plyo step is I maybe want to do an elevated um, burpee. So I'm going to use some kind of platform. Again, you can determine um, what height is best suited for you, um, what width might be best suited, especially if you are going to go into that push-up. So I'm just going to demonstrate using my plyo step here. So my first option is I can go into my squat, place my hands onto my step, kick it back, I can stay here, or I can go into my push-up and bring it back in. Maybe I wanna hop, maybe I don't, all right? So the next option we have is stepping back. So same thing, placing my hands on the bench, stepping back into my nice high plank, holding, making sure I'm bracing, make sure I have good form here, stepping back in, chest is up, full body extension. So. Those are some different alternatives that might work really well for you to perform your burpee, working up into the, um, the demonstration I showed at the very 
beginning of this video. So I hope that helped everyone. I hope these different alternatives um, work for you and I hope they make you fall in love with burpees like I love burpees. They're a great exercise. We just want to make sure you're doing them correctly and progressing you at the right rate. Um, so I hope that helped everybody. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful rest of your day.